Let's go to the main menu and click Guides. Now for this video, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and click all these triangles to minimize everything in the section. Now what I want to focus on today is Bible Reference Guides. Let's click and expand that section. Now here's the key to understanding this. Bible Reference Guides represents all those sections from individual guides where you have to enter a Bible reference. A great example would be commentaries. Let's click on commentaries. Now the commentary section is from the passage guide and the passage guide uses a Bible reference. So we're pulling out that specific section. Now we can just type in a passage. I'm going to type in Isaiah 13, 17 and run the guide. The neat thing about this is I don't have to open up my whole passage guide, scroll down to the commentary section, click and expand it. Rather, I go to guides and I just type in the name of that specific guide for the Bible reference guide. So if I type in commentaries and scroll down, I will see commentaries under Bible reference guides. This is a significant feature and I want you to understand this. So your favorite sections in any guide can be pulled up directly by typing in the name of that section from the guide. So in review, Bible Reference Guide section represents those guides that use Bible references to run those guides. And then you type in the name of that section. Let's go ahead and click on Guides to close the menu and click on the X to close the tab.